uh, I want you to cut the cards you already have and say like reasonable suspicion is racist. Uh, that's the cards I'm talking about. Wait, I cut another card. No, no, you're gonna find the cards that are already cut and transplant them into shell number two, the drug war shell. You create a document, uh, shell two, drug war. Well, maybe if you're still around in the evening class, Henry, we could walk you through this process more directly, maybe. Because I think other than that, it's going to be a two policy people. But listen, hey, this chicken, I want everyone's attention, please. It's important chicken. What? I need you quiet and listening. I need you quiet and listening. Because not of any blessing from above or below, but because instead we are more insightful and work harder, because we want it more and thus deserve it more. So it is that autonomy debate has brought home trophies. And though, so, and though those trophies represent the success of our squad, and particularly Evelyn, and Edmund, they're insufficient and simple because we need something also to not just represent ADA, but to be, to become the true flesh of our fallen flow, foes upon which the victor shall feast. And so it is, through this act of metaphysical wonder, do I transubstantiate this supermarket chicken into the body of our fallen foes. All hail the supermarket chicken. <laughs> All right, Edmund and Evelyn, come feast upon it. Oh, it's, only, it's a, so only, of course, only them. Why, why would you, excuse me, simple question. Why would you feast upon the flesh of your foes metaphysically when you fail to feast upon them physically? What? There is no answer for that, Catherine. <laughs> right now, Catherine, they're eating you.